Once upon a time, on a small island, stood the high school where the teddy bear family lived. They were not really proper teddy bears, for junior bear was very big, sophomore bear was middling in size, and the only baby fresh meat could be described as a teddy bear. Junior Bear cried about all the essays he had to write for Mr. Jackson's class. Sophomore Bear had lots of boyfriends. Most of them are from the senior class. Baby Freshman had barely any friends because he was too young and immature. Not far away lived a fair-haired girl, Brown Earlocks. She was kind and loved to adventure. One day, Sophomore Bear made oatmeal using a new recipe. When it was ready, Sophomore Bear thought it needed to cool. So they went for a walk. A short time later, as Brownie Locks goes on her daily walk, she passes by the high school. As she got closer to the school, she felt a little tired so she went and sat down. She smelled something. Oh, what a glorious smell! Anybody there? After eating the oatmeal, Brownie Locks wanted to go on an adventure. In the living room, each bear had their own Christmas tree. Baby Freshman had completely no idea what Christmas was. Junior Bears was strange and had many odd things. What is this monster? How peculiar. So plain and boring. Sophomore Bear's tree was just primitive and bland that Brownie Locks couldn't even tell what it was. They can do better than this. They really can. Brownie Locks decides she will decorate her own tree. So she goes out and looks for a tree. Brownie Alok was so tired from working on her tree. She decides to take a nap. In the meantime, the bear family was on their way back from their walk. I can't wait to eat that oatmeal. Aren't you excited? Not quite, but almost. The door is open! My portrait's been covered. Oh no! Someone ate all my oatmeal! Who did this? Maybe they're in the trees. They're not here. Where could they be? The bear's house was so big that they had to search everywhere. They looked by the water. In the forest. In a field. On a hole. Junior Bear thought he saw something. But actually, it was only a bird. Oh, we looked everywhere. But we haven't checked the beds. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. And that's how Brownie Locks survived the strange, dangerous monsters. The end. <laughs>